Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner, and how are you doing today? Before I start the video, it's already started, but before I get to the main subject of the video, I'd like to tell you two things. One, I've changed the upload times of the videos I release on Monday and Friday from 5 p.m. to 12 noon Eastern Time, America. Because most of the people that I hang out with and um, watch my video are actually from Europe. So instead of releasing them for 5 p.m. in America, I decided to release them for 5 p.m. in like London area, Europe time. So they have a chance to watch the videos before they go to sleep at night also. And there's another thing, YouTube changed. When you hit your subscriptions tab on your YouTube page, oops, hitting the mic, um, there's now a tab after the first 12 uh, videos that they show that you are subscribed to. It says, show more videos, and you have to hit that to show the older videos that you subscribe to. So don't forget to do that and look for the new thumbnail and the new video times that I um, am releasing. But <laughs> with that said, um, you've heard the saying, you are what you eat. And I've learned through my life also with battles that I've had inside, inner turmoils, that you are also what you think. Um, everything is based on two emotions in the world, hate and love. So do you want to be on the side of hate or do you want to be on the side of love? Um, you can think of every single emotion that a human being can have from fear, anxiety to admiration and whatever. And you can always refer back to the two simple emotions, hate or love. So I'm on the side of do unto others as others, as you want others to do unto you. Love thy neighbor. All the good old, the good Christian stuff that um, I was taught when I was a kid. And I really believed that uh, throughout my life. And even when I make decisions nowadays, I kind of take my shoes off and put on other people's shoes around me and go, how will this decision affect my friends? How will this affect, you know, my coworkers or whatever? And I make my decision not just based on me, but on the other people around me. Because in general, I love everybody around me because I live my life on the love side. And how does one do that? Because I grew up very depressed. I dealt with uh, depression and I still deal with depression on all the time. And I've learned that if I, you have to be aware of your thoughts, basically. When I, when I knew I was going through depression and I wanted to stop it, I would be aware of my thoughts. And any time I had a bad negative thought, I'd kind of picture it, put a big red X through it, then replace it with something that made me happy. Whatever that is, I don't remember what it was at the time. Um, actually, last time I had a little bit of a spat with depression, anytime I realized I was having negative thoughts in my head, I would start singing the Right Here, Right Now song from Van Halen. I, and I hated that song when it was out, but it means more to me now than it did whenever it came out 10, 15, 20 years ago. So basically, to... <clears throat> Keep control of the way you think. You have to be aware of your thought patterns. And you kind of have to analyze the patterns. Is, are these thoughts going to help my life? Or are these thoughts going to deter my life and make it harder? And it's really hard because I am ultimately a negative person on the inside. Um, just like a lot of other people, I tend to judge people without knowing them. I tend to be a little bit racist. I... Even with the, the niece thing, I, for me, Mr. I, I Love Everybody says, oh, we got to go after the Muslims. And that's not really true because it's not Muslims per se. It's only extremists. Just like any other religion or society, they have extremists. So how do you... Um, how do you get yourself to the point where you can love others because there's a thought pattern that you can't love others unless you love yourself. And um, I really had a hard time with that because I my depression came from blaming myself for a situation that happened to me when I was a kid that I did not have control over and did not know any difference, uh, didn't even know it was a bad thing. 
and I used to beat myself up with the guilt and I would just dwell on it and you just beat myself down and down and down so that's the thought pattern you know, what I said at the very beginning you are what you think so if you continually beat yourself down you're gonna feel like crap so how do you get yourself from feeling like crap to feeling better and one of the things I did along with like being aware of my thoughts is put a smile on your face fake it go like you know fake your smile I mean it may be fake at first but eventually this smile I mean it's goofy and it looks funny is gonna make it's gonna cheer you up and if you force yourself to smile even if you're not feeling well on the inside eventually the smile will win and beat out the bad so fake that smile and that will eventually um, make you happy and if you're happy you can actually enjoy yourself enjoy company with your own self and once you can enjoy your own self you can kind of spread that love to the people around you um, and when I mean love I don't mean you know going up and hugging everybody and whatever but realizing that there are other people on this planet other than yourself uh, stop um, you know feeling sorry for yourself um, because nobody's gonna care you're gonna have to do this yourself you may have friends and family around but they don't ultimately know what you're going through so they may support you a little bit but you're the one that's gonna have to do this so put on that fake smile if you're feeling like crap if you <clears throat> are depressed and you're going through life and you're judging people going oh man that lady's wearing sh sneakers that are fucking ugly why the fuck would she wear sneakers like that don't go through life like that um, it's just not a good way to do it because basically ultimately you're taking the uh, thought patterns off yourself because you're afraid of something inside of you and putting it on somebody else that's why people like to blame and judge everybody I mean if uh, I'm not even gonna get into it because I don't want to get this into a political thing but basically you gotta work on yourself and if you're feeling bad just basically plant a smile on your face because the stress of being depressed being negative judging people is also just as bad for you as eating shitty foods your whole life and not caring about your body and at these times when 2016 has been basically the worst year of my life so far with everything that's been going on and I can't believe the actions of people around the world and in this country killing all these people and with the situation I'm going through with the surgery and how I'm having negative reactions from it it's been very tough to be happy it's been very tough to be motivated and I have to go back to life basics which is something I started when I was a kid when I was attempting suicide because I was so depressed because even though I was suicidal I really did not want to leave this planet I wanted to fix this situation so that's how I kind of came up with the uh, being aware of your thoughts putting a smile on your face even if you're not happy and instead of saying have a good day to somebody have a great day you know have an awesome day just kind of exaggerated a little bit because believe it or not your energy the good energy that is saying have a great day or have an awesome day to somebody will eventually come back to you and you'll see it right away you know you can you know how's your day and you go eh, it was okay whatever and or you can go oh it was great um, amazing day so far and you, the reaction you'll get will <laughs> confirm that being positive around people and being positive on the inside is the way to go so I kind of hit where I wanted to hit with this video um, and I kind of missed the point also but basically come on guys it's a tough life it's a tough world right now and it's easy to point fingers and blame a whole society for issues that are going on when in all actuality it's a small percentage of people and there's actually more violence in America than in other places that we are blaming so it's kind of <clears throat> I'll say it real quickly I really hate to say this politically 
The media and the government kind of want us to hate all Muslims so we can go to war against all Muslims. So the corporation that builds the oil and the metal and the machinery for the wars can pad their pocketbooks so the politicians that they bought can have a yacht that parks a yacht inside another yacht. So it's all about the money when it comes to war and the propaganda of trying to separate people from other religions or types of people is anticlimactic. It just brings on, violence brings more violence. So if we respond to violence with violence, it's going to bring more violence. I know it doesn't seem to really make sense, but if you look at the history of it, us reacting to 9-11 and going to Iraq and bombing everybody and doing all this stuff has created the situation that we're in right now. So I know the attacks that we've been getting lately really, really suck. But if we go after them and bomb their neighborhoods, bomb weddings with drones and killing 80 people and whatever, all we're doing is creating more terrorists to hate America and France or wherever. And that is not cool. So violence gets us nowhere. Love does. Love thy neighbor. Do unto others as you want done to yourself. Put that smile on your face and try not to judge people. Can you do that? Can we do that? Come on. Let's start loving and stop hating. Goodbye. I'll see you on Monday with a new video at noon, like I say. And let me know in the comments below if you want me to continue with this or is this just garble, 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 and you don't care about this stuff and my thoughts. And this is a long video. I'm sorry about that. Have a good day. Peace. Where's that stop recording button? Oh, there